Hi, I'm Jason Kaufman, Senior Vice President and Managing Editor on the digital team at Weber Shanwick. Storytellers are always asking questions. What's the hook of the story? What's the meat of the story? What quotes and opinions can be used that will help that content be differentiated? What are the tools? Is it photo? Is it video? Is it infographic? That are going to make those stories pop on any device, whether it's tablet, whether it's mobile, whether it's laptop. Storytellers ask those questions and generally they understand, is that a story that's worth telling? But a lot of times they're not asking themselves the hard questions. Did this story land with an audience? If it didn't land with it, why not? Why did it lose them? You'll often hear storytellers talk about analytics as nothing but a numbers game. They think that by looking at the analytics, they're basically taking the human element out of the craft, that they're looking at data and taking the soul out of storytelling. Nothing could be further from the truth. What content creator wouldn't want to look and see how their story was connecting with an audience? If you look at the traditional print model, analytics were always about finding circulation. How many people were reading the magazine at home? How many were buying it impulsively when they passed a newsstand? Who would be browsing through the pages when they were sitting in their dentist's office waiting for an appointment? Some will say that circulation today means unique visitor. That's a new person who's interacting with our content no matter where it lives. What people really aren't seeing is that there are tools that can measure what real circulation is. That's how anybody's engaging with our content through any touch point, whether it's an app, whether it's social, or whether it's search. That's the kind of circulation we really have to be measuring. And storytellers should be looking at data as a gift. This is basically a focus group that you're being handed who is going to tell you every single day what's working with them based on their comments, their shares, their likes, and their clicks. And they're doing it all in a real setting, in the moment, not behind a one-way mirror in an awkward situation. So now you know, how did your audience get to your story? What engaged them when they were there? Why did they bail on your content? Did your content give them the answers that they were looking for or did it not give them enough information so they split? Those answers hold the key to successful content creation and evolution. I am amazed that today brands still believe that if they build content, audiences will automatically come. They basically will go and plan a year's worth of programming without ever understanding how an audience is actually engaging with it. They'll put every bit of content out there that answers every single question imaginable without really wondering why audiences will be looking to them for specific answers. Data doesn't have to be this big, scary thing. Story editors just really need to understand exactly what they need to measure, exactly what tools they can use to measure it. And then when they look at this data, they need to understand that good metrics are important, but sometimes bad metrics are even more important. They can use those bad metrics, apply those learnings, and make sure that their stories are connecting even better the next time around with their audiences.